A bison calf at Yellowstone National Park was euthanized after an encounter with humans. A father-son duo thought this newborn bison was lost and looked really cold. So they loaded the animal into their car, the trunk of their car, and drove it to a park station. Well, park rangers tried many times after the fact to reunite the calf with its mother, but it appears the mother rejected it. Sadly, the animal had to be put down because it kept approaching people and cars, causing a very dangerous situation. Now, rules at Yellowstone National Park are clear. Getting near or approaching wildlife is prohibited. I'm joined now on the phone by Morgan Warthin, the public affairs specialist for Yellowstone National Park. Uh, appreciate you taking the time, Morgan. First of all, just tell us about what happened to this poor calf and why uh, this bison had to be euthanized. So on May 9th, uh, these international visitors, they picked up uh, this newborn bison calf. And like you said, they they had thought uh, that the calf was suffering. So they, from, from concern for the calf, they picked it up, they put it in their vehicle, and they drove it to a ranger station and met up with a ranger to give the ranger the calf. Oh, you know, and we just stated there that, you know, when the park rangers tried to reunite this calf with its mother, the mother rejected the baby. Why is that? What happens when a human interferes in this way? Oftentimes what happens is that the, the animal no longer has the smell of the mother nor the smell of the herd. The animal smells like something very foreign to the mother and that's why, why the calf was rejected. And know too that this this is a natural occurrence. This does happen to newborn bison calves on occasion in the park. How often does it happen when you have cases like this where tourists who, I guess, don't know any, but any better, who are well-intended, uh, see a quote-unquote suffering calf, or so they assume the calf is suffering, and pick up a, a baby animal and try to bring it to a ranger thinking that they're helping this animal? You know, the last time that I know of an incident like this occurring was about a decade ago. Mm. So it is rare for visitors to actually pick up uh, a, a newborn calf. What we do find, though, very common happening is visitors that are getting closer and closer to wildlife, closer than what they should be doing.